politician have to say? Hey, good morning. Excuse it's January twelfth. I don't accept what you're saying. What uh, you're twenty sixteen. And it's a Tuesday. Oh, wait, this is pretty good. This is about the highest I've gotten my score for a long time. That's why they don't speak up. They're afraid that his people. So hopefully it stays up there. All right. I don't know if I mentioned it was Tuesday today. All I'm going to do is take the bleeder screw out of this, put some TFE tape on it, and get it prepared for uh, my Mighty Vac to uh, clear it. I don't know why this rests so badly. Oh my god, I repainted this and everything. Man, it's just like going crazy with rust. In the summer, I'll fix this. Well, that was relatively easy. I pulled the bleeder screw out of the brakes and I put some Teflon on it so I can use the Mighty Vac on it and it won't leak too much air, if any. I don't know if I mentioned it was Tuesday, the 12th of January 2015. Alright, I have this here. I set it to vacuum. It's a Mighty Vac. I forget the model number. This is their top of the line model number. Um, so I set that to vacuum. You have to put the tube in here. You want the vacuum to go in on the one with no tube. And then the other tube goes into the into the fluid that you hopefully are going to extract with the vacuum. I put Teflon tape on so I'm not going to suck air onto the bleeder screw. And then I'm going to put this on the bleeder screw. Now it's open just a little bit and uh, vacuum it out. And then once, once it comes clear, I'll tighten it. I'll probably have to fill it a couple times. And I forgot my brake fluid. I'll have to go ahead and get it. Oh, that one's bled more or less. Of course, now the snow starts coming. Jesus. So I need... All right, I'll do this one next. I'm just this is a lot right. messier of a job than they make it out to be. All right, I'm going to pull this one out. Okay, that one's done. Well, now for the back ones. I don't think this does a real good job. I'd have to clamp it better or something. I think it's sucking in some air in there. It's a good garage tool though, if I was in a garage, I don't have to worry about getting dirt in the brake system or anything. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to have to take the tire off to do this. So far the snow has been light, it hasn't been sticking yet. Yeah, I guess I'll get my, if I can find my four-way. If I could run this without bleeding it, that would be even better. Take it to the inspection station let them fix it. Well, this is a bad thing, so that's going to screw me up. I'm going to be out here shoveling, which I don't want to do. Wish we could just move to Florida. I never want to see snow again. Um, I got the front brakes working on the van. I got the engine cover on. As well as I got to find my windshield wipers and I'll bring it down to uh, Capital Auto and see if I can get a get them to inspect it. I should pull the trailer out before the snow gets too deep too. It's supposed to warm up again so this snow is not supposed to stay here but I don't know man. I don't know. I, I was hoping the guy would come through with the money and buy that trailer by now. But I'm starting to think that he's not going to do it. So I'll have to run the trailer down to... Uh, down to... Stanton, Virginia. And go with the original plan. I forgot my mom's letter. She sent a card to Kristen, my sister, for her birthday. Went on my credit card and I was hoping to put my name on it, but she didn't want to. She wanted to just be from her, so I hope to get Kristen a card. I 
it's Patty and Joey on some electrical work done. Or somebody is. I don't know how our other neighbor is actually. Huh. I don't know what they're doing. Well, with the snow, I guess I'm not going to find my trash can. It's not looking too hopeful anyway. There's a couple possibilities. A kid could have took it for his fort, which I can't find to search. <laughs> my other neighbor could have taken it to his hunting cabin. Somebody random could have stolen it. My mom thinks the bear took it, but it was empty. I really can't see that. But if the bear took it, why did he skip all the nice full garbage cans? And where did he drag it? <laughs> so I'd have to track the bear to find that out, to rule that out completely. I don't think that's the most likely scenario. Um. Another one of our neighbors is moving and hired people from Jersey, I guess, to take her to her new house. So they could have taken it. I don't know. I hope it turns up, though. I just hate getting robbed. Even if it turns up, I'm going to just take them into storage, leave them elsewhere. I'm not going to... Uh, risk losing it again. I guess I go, I'll go to, uh, after I get the mail, I'll go to my uh, storage unit. It's got my car in it and clear it out, all the nails, so I can bring the trailer in there. I don't get the trailer stuck. Then all I have left to do is uh, then I'll put the car the car on the trailer. Then all I have left to do is get this dam running right. I'd really like to have it running right first. I'm not going to do that to move it today because it's going to be possibly too slippery. The van that only has front brakes and, and an emergency brake and uh, doesn't have an inspection sticker towing a trailer I get a Florida residence here I won't need inspection anymore and second thought <coughs> you should stay home in case the mail comes it might have another credit card in it my credit went up to uh, recently to 721, which is very cool. It's been festering in the high 600s for a while. It went up like 40 points. Been working on it every day, trying to get it to go up. It's really not going to go much higher than 721 until I can uh, get all the inquiries knocked off, which takes two years. Two years of waiting. So, that's where that is. Yeah, it's back to the normal weather, I guess. I gotta find the windshield wipers for my van. I don't know where the heck they went. My mom moves a bunch of stuff around and can't find it now. They were right be on the desk behind her seat. Maybe the cat knocked them down or something. Well, it's depressing. Winter's here. I will not miss snow. It's still snowing. I hope it doesn't accumulate too much. So I'll have to deal with that trailer and that van. I don't even know what time it is. It's early yet. So I've got another dog outing to do. So I'm going to run down and get him some food.
Yeah, back on the road again. I'm gonna get my mail downtown. I get some dog food. My mom gave me another list of stuff to get. And I'm gonna get a couple lottery tickets. It's like a billion dollars. Crazy amount. <laughs> Everybody probably spent their year's lot of allocations on the last one, so I don't know how many people's gonna play it. Might might miss again. Looking up to where the states are gonna start playing, so if they win they can pay off the deficit. Their debt. See debts. Yeah, sad part, you're not gonna end up with anywhere near a billion dollars if you take the cash prize. And you might not end up with it if you take the annuity either, because you're banking on nothing changing or where they're gonna take all your money. Sad that so much trust is gone in America. Well, I just drove over somebody's lawn. I guess the salt trucks are a little late today. Hope I can stop on the bottom of this hill. <laughs> I'm the only one who's been out, it looks like. They put away their plow equipment or something. Yeah, this hill's kind of got me concerned. It's super slippy. Slippery. There's a car parked on the bottom. Shipped in a low gear. See if I can slow this down. I am not liking this. It's all ice under here, too. Awful. Man, of course cars come right now. Oh yeah, they gotta go to the bar. I just don't wanna hit that car on the bottom. It's like a sleigh ride. Where's the salt trucks? Oh, that's good, I made it to the bottom. That's better. Yeah, these roads are super bad. I guess it rained underneath it or something. You see they're salting up here on the... I think it's 611 up here. State states out, but the towns aren't. I guess I'll go back through town and go home so I can not have to risk that railroad hill. That could be a nightmare. Okay. Got the groceries. Really mostly wanted to get dog food. Finally found some kind of food he likes. He doesn't like dry food anymore, which is weird. He's probably been eating the cat's food. We got this real expensive cat food, too, because cat's on a special diet for his urinary crystal problem. Cat wants to eat his dog food. But it's just so bad out here. I'm going to drive all the way down to Portland and, uh, Loop back up because it's not as big a hill. Well, there's one big hill, but can't get around all the hills, sadly. Well, so far so good. Now I gotta go on to those secondary roads. And here 
comes the fun part. <laughs> Hopefully the trucks went by by now. It doesn't look like they did though. Arg. It's super slippery. It doesn't look it, but it is. Must have rained just right, you know. And it's all uphill and flat, so. Kind of spooky running into the, over that guy's lawn. I had to drive onto his lawn to avoid going into a ditch at the end of the road where it tees. I think it's some kind of truck coming through here. That'd be cool if this went all the way, all the way up. Eh, maybe not. Maybe somebody just threw stuff out there. Let me just see. Alright, it's not that bad. This is good. Well, I'm going to take a break and watch the State of the Union address. Not too uh, thrilled with the politics of Lee. Hey, it's time to take the daughter out for his last outing. He's ready to go out. Man. What a day. I hope this melts one more time. You guys have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow.